We are going to look at the delayed step function u of t minus a where a is positive. We saw in previous videos that u of t minus a is a unit step function where the step occurs at a. So u of t minus a equals 1 if the argument of the function t minus a is greater than 0. But that's the same thing as saying that t is greater than a. And uh, u of t minus a is 0 if the argument t minus a is less than 0. But that's the same thing as saying t is less than a. Here is the definition of the Laplace transform. We multiply the function by e to the minus st and integrate from 0 to infinity with respect to time. But we know that u of t minus a is 0 for values of t between 0 and a. So this here is actually going to be 0. So we will be multiplying 0 by e to the minus st. Well that's just going to give us 0. If we integrate 0 with respect to anything we get 0. So that's where we get this 0 from. So whatever the function is, uh, well actually the function here is e to the power minus st, isn't it? So we have e to the power minus st multiplied by this. But when we multiply e to the minus st by 0, we just get 0. And when we multiply e to the minus st by 1, we'll get e to the minus st. So for values of t between a and infinity, u of t minus a is equal to 1. So we can split the integral from 0 to infinity into two integrals. We can integrate from 0 to a, where a is the positive number, and then we integrate from a to infinity. So essentially this integral is just the integral of a to infinity of e to the minus st with respect to t. And that's a straightforward integral. We uh, It's just e to the power of a constant times t. So we treat minus s as the constant, and we know what that integral is, we've seen it before. Um, the upper limit is infinity. Uh, if you let t go to, to infinity, e to the minus st will go to zero, because again we're assuming that s is a positive number. Um, so minus s, is the power is negative, so that'll go to zero. And then what do we get? We have minus this thing here with a in for t. That's e to the minus s a divided by minus s. Minuses, two minuses give us the plus here. Now let's go through some of these examples. Let's look at L of e to the minus 3t. So we go back to the table. So we want e to the minus 3t, so a is going to be 3. So we get 1 over s plus 3. To get L of ut minus 3, we look at this result. Replace a with 3. So we get e to the minus 3s over s. Next we want L of e to the minus t times sine of 3t. Well, we can go back up here to number 7. And uh, we want e to the minus t, so we want a to equal 1. And b to equal 3. Now we haven't proven this one, but here is its transform. Just plug in for a and b. So b is 3 b squared appears here, 3 squared is 9, a is 1. Next we want to get L of 5 cos 3t minus 6t cubed. We can use linearity to write it like this. We have 5 times L of cos 3t, then we have minus 6 times L of t cubed. To get L of cos 3t, we look here and replace a with 3. Now again we haven't proven this one but we will get s over s squared plus 3 squared. That's s over s squared plus 9. And we multiply the 5 into it then, so we get 5s over s squared plus 9. Next we want to get L of t cubed. To get L of t cubed, we look at L of t to the power of n and replace n with 3. So we get 3 factorial over s to the power of 4. 3 factorial is 3 by 2 by 1, which is 6, so we get uh, minus 36 over s to the power of 4.